Okay, the first thing you want to do is create an account. Go here, click on new. This might be different from what you see when you first install it. It should automatically put you on this screen here, this part. You should automatically see this when you first install the bat. So um first you want to do is just put an account name. Hit next. Into the email address. You can leave this blank. I usually leave organization blank, but um, you know it's up to you. Okay. Now, if you're using um an email client or email host that supports IMAP, then you want to select IMAP. It gives you faster delivery of your email and um. I know I just find it to be a little more stable. Put your incoming mail service here. This is not correct, obviously. It's going to be something like mail.newemailtest.com. Same thing for SMTP. SMTP.newemailtest.com. Well, whatever it is for your server, just make sure your settings are correct because this doesn't check the settings for you like Thunderbird or any other client. You have to make sure your settings are correct. Okay, and uh, my SMTP requires authentication, and that's usually the case, so I usually check that. Then I hit next. Username will be new email at new email test.com or whatever your email address is. You know, the username to log in and the password to log in. Do not use the trash folder for deletion. I usually leave that check. It's up to you your choice. Do you want to check all account settings now? Yes, you do. Now you want to go to transport. Make sure that your port is correct. If that's not correct, obviously it's not going to work. That's for your SMTP, your send mail server. Connection. Sure that whatever SMTP server you're using, it's either star TLS or just TLS. Make sure you select the appropriate one, or obviously it's not going to work. Make sure that that's checked. Make sure everything is correct. Make sure all your server settings is correct. And um, I think that's it for setting it up. Okay, yeah, that's it for now. Next, you want to go here. To your new account these are stuff that I already have set up um, you want to go to your new account go to account properties is that right no 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 that's wrong okay this is what you want to do first you want to add an address book entry this is how you're going to know who emailed you and who didn't email you you want to be able to filter out new recipients from old recipients well new senders from old senders that's what you want to be able to filter out so you want to create a new um, address book add a group to personal address book you want to add a group there new group name it something like um, first contact then you put another name here first contact that's all you need to do. You don't have to mess with any, anything else in this section here. You can leave that as is. And then just hit OK. Now you want to create another one. Second contact. And hit OK. Now you got first contact, second contact close this out. Now you want to create some filters for the new account. Click on incoming mail because that's where you want your filters to start. Mail. It's right here. This is new filter. Okay, and change sender to address book groups. Address book groups first contact no where is it first contact make sure you tick that 
does not contain sender. So if it doesn't contain it in your first contact, which means they're a new sender, then you go to the next step, which would be action. It's going to go past that, and then it's going to go to the action. You want to add the action. Your action wants to be the first action that you want to have is um send automatic reply. This is your template for the automatic reply. I usually delete this because it's going to put hello, whatever the sender's name is that's attached to their um to their email address. It's going to say hello, blah blah blah. That looks a little spammy to me, so I usually delete that and then I start my template right there. But there's a macro that you need to put there to put it to lag. Let's get rid of that and put that there. This is the macro you want to put at the beginning. Postpone equals 25 minutes. You don't have to put it for 25 minutes. You can postpone it for as long as you want. 40 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever. The choice is yours. However you like to set up your responses. And then right here afterwards, this right after that, you start typing your reply. Hi, do you like the new iPhone 5? Would you like to be a beta tester? All right. This program has some bugs in it, and you see how it's double spacing it automatically. Sometimes even triple spacing it. I don't know why it does that, and I can't fix that. But there's a work work around for that. You just go to a notepad, um, get your new notepad set up right here. Type out your responses. Copy it. Go back to the filter, highlight this crap here, and then paste it. And that puts it there correctly without all of the, the double spaces that this tends to add in there automatically. I don't know why it adds it in automatically, but it just does. All right, so now you got your first your first um your first reply set up, and that's going to send it 60 minutes after they email you. So after their first email to you, they'll get a response 60 minutes later saying this, blah, 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 you know? All right, now after that, you want to have it add the address to the address book. So you want to go to Capture Addresses. You want to capture it in the From field, the Reply To field, the Carbon Copy field, and the Blind CC field. And then you add the address book groups. You want to find first email, first contact. You want to add it to that group. So after they send you, after they email you, that address gets captured, and you'll have it so you can, you know, email them later, and it'll help you on the next step that I'm about to show you. Okay. Then you want to add another one. You want to delete it. I delete it because I just like to keep it clean and keep the inboxes clean and everything. Delete it. Delete message and then delete it from the server. All right, so now you got that filter there. Go to the options. I usually select immediate. Send generated messages immediately. Folders, speci specified folders only. Use the inbox. St statistics, that's just for, you know, however many times the filter was activated. And, um, all right, so let's go to the next one. Let's, let's name this filter response one All right. so now let's go back to incoming you gotta go to the top and then add another filter we're going to name this one response uh... two okay now this one you're going to put um... go back to address book groups as your condition Address book groups. Um, first email, first contact. Cause that that um the first response to you should have them logged into this address book. So you want to have you want to select that one, and then you want to put if it contains if that address book contains the sender, and you want to add another one. 